I'm Uwe Maurer, I'm with Ambient Design LTD in New Zealand and we have a natural media paint application uh, for, for PC and Mac. And so here you have the tools on the lower left side and the color on the lower right side. Our oil paint, as you see here, mixes. So it says wet, now we have multi-touch enabled things so you can zoom in, rotate, um, and, and multiply it and the paint stays wet. If you, if you take a knife, there's like these settings here, a flat knife will allow you to, if you make the tool a little wider here, the flat knife will allow you to move the paint. So different tools, for instance, would be here this um, um, glitter gun. Let's make the tool size a little bit wider. Let's dial in metallic. Let's try to make gold. Uh, a little bit more reddish. So here we have our gold. And if I take a knife now, this, uh, this new wet blending op operation, you see how realistic our gold looks. And that explains a little bit how we get this realistic effect. We are pushing five times as much data as a photo editor because we don't any only have to take care, uh, keep track of uh, color value and translucency per pixel. We also do um, keep track of how much paint is on the pixel, how, how wet is it, how um, um, how much trans, uh, viscosity, but if, if there's paint thinner next to it, it mixes differently. Let's take the metallic out here. And uh, for the metallic stuff, you, you obviously have to do the um, reflectivity and bump map. And you will see the, the watercolor. As you can see, uh, it, it shows very nice how it blends with the paint. And new in this version is um, presets. So when you go through the presets here, you see how the settings over here on the left change with every preset there's a nice preset here just water so i can show you how i paint here with just water so we have also uh, layers and um, um, so, so there's layers and um, they're easy to move around they're photoshop compatible and what you even could do here of this layer there's like a menu here that gives you all the Photoshop options. This is how you create a stencil from a layer. So here now you have your own stencil, which is a lot easier to teach children than to um, work with uh, Photoshop selections. Let's take um, a spray gun here and fill it in with some darker color that you can see here what I that it operates just like a stencil, you can move it away. Uh, if you do not have multi-touch, we have this new pot here to, um, to pan, zoom and rotate. And also you can rotate to the exact angle. And the other thing what I wanted to show you is how to paint from a photo. Let's set up a new painting. Let's take a canvas. That is rough to show the interaction of it. You can have as many reference images uh, as you like. And uh, so, also, they are multi touch enabled, and here you can even zoom in and pick like a certain detail that you want to picking in your reference image. Uh, the tracing image got easier in the user interface, so uh, let me dial in the uh, opacity a little bit more so that you see it on the camera better. So I have this image here in the background, and as you notice down here, my color uh, picks now, the my color picker picks the color from the background, so I could trace in this uh, composition here. And uh, if I turn the photo off, I see what I have on the canvas. If I take a tool that has here my oil brush, would pick up the color from the photo every time I use it. Obviously, I have a lot of paint thinner in here. Let me reset my oil brush. So here in the sky, I would get lighter colors. Uh, one thing you also, the easiest way to do a photo would be vertical stripes with a different color. And then uh, take a flat knife. Sorry. Take a flat knife. Mix yourself a nice background. Yeah, whatever. And then 
takes a glitter gun, which is still selecting the color from the background. If you make the glitter size a little smaller, you get photorealist, get a little bit more photorealist, so you can bring in the images of your photo, and again, the paint stays wet as you go in here. One, let's turn this layer off and show you how you can convert a whole photo into tracing uh, into paint. So this is all wet paint. I took my tracing image, convention wet paint, so if I take my knife, I can smear it here. Let's make the tool a little bit smaller, so as you can see, I can smear the paint. Um, the soft knife would allow me even to easily paint paint waves here into my reflection of the water. And again, if I take a tool, which has um, picks up the color from the background. I add fresh color over the paint that is all, already there. New in this version is an, uh, new in this version, uh, Artwish 3. Uh,